Madam Speaker, we are once again getting big things done for everyday Americans. We passed the American Rescue Plan, saved the economy, put shots in arms, money in pockets, and kids back in school, passed the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act to fix our crumbling infrastructure and create millions of good paying jobs. We passed gun safety legislation for the first time in 30 years that will save lives. We passed the Chips and Science Act that will bring back domestic manufacturing jobs to the United States of America. I rise today in strong support of the Inflation Reduction Act, another transformative bill brought to you by your friendly neighborhood Democratic Party. The Inflation Reduction Act will lower energy costs, confront the climate crisis with the fierce urgency of now, set our planet forward on a sustainable trajectory, lower health care costs by strengthening the Affordable Care Act, as well as reducing the deficit by $300 billion and giving Medicare the ability to use its bulk price purchasing power to drive down the high cost of life-saving prescription drugs. It's a big effing deal. The Inflation Reduction Act is going to dramatically improve the lives of everyday Americans. We are putting people over politics, fighting to lower costs for safer communities and better paying jobs. But my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, Republicans, will oppose this groundbreaking legislation. They'd rather defend Donald Trump than defend the American people. Vote yes on the Inflation Reduction Act so we can continue to put people over politics.